Hello, today I'm going to show you how to tune your FieldView DVC6200 digital valve controller. There are several tools in the ValveLink software that we can use to go about this. There's the performance tuner, stabilize and optimize, and manual tuning. We will be going over each of these tools today. These tests do cause your valve to stroke, so make sure it is isolated from any processes before running. To begin, have the ValveLink software open and make sure it is communicating with the connected device you will be working on today. Open the tag by double clicking on the device icon. I will be using these tools while the FieldView instrument is out of service. First we will start with the performance tuner. The performance tuner is an automatic process that tunes your FieldView instrument within a very conservative range. It will recommend new gain values to apply to your instrument. Go up to instrument setup and down to performance tuner. Check the box if your valve assembly has a volume booster or graphite packing and click run. This is a warning simply stating that the valve will move. Check yes to continue. After the performance tuner has completed, this window will pop up. These are the new recommended gains. If you want to use them, clicking yes applies these settings to the instrument. Another way to tune the instrument is by using the stabilize and optimize option here under instrument setup. This test may also cause the valve to move. Click OK to continue. If your valve assembly has graphite packing or high friction, check this box. Now we'll go through what these sliders do. You can see that changing the gain changes the forward path, velocity feedback, and the minor loop feedback. This is used to set the dynamic response of the valve. Keep stability in mind as you change this. Changing the damping changes the velocity and the minor loop feedback, but not the proportional values. The damping slider aids in stabilizing the system when high gains are used. This tuning option gives you more control, but still has some safeguards built in. Now you can adjust them as needed, and then click Apply. Note that even if your instrument is out of service, it will respond to input signal changes and the valve will move. Click OK to continue. Now the last option is to manually tune your field view instrument. This option is only recommended for those who consider themselves to be an expert in the area of DVC instrument tuning already, but will walk through the tool to get you familiar with it. Click this button to open detailed setup and go to the tuning tab here. This is where you can tune the instrument without the valve link safeguards assisting. There are numerous settings you can adjust here. You can adjust the integral gain, integral dead zone, and integral limit, as well as the tuning set. The key to the detailed setup is finding the right balance of damping and gain for your process's needs. You will need to adjust the settings based on your tuning set and consider any accessories to get the results desired. Okay, we have now covered the performance tuner, the stabilize and optimize tool, and reviewed the detailed setup tuning option.